It's time to play Family Feud Get up for Steve Harvey mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Appreciate everybody, I do thank y'all, yeah I do. Well, welcome to Family Feud, everybody, I'm your man, Steve Harvey. We got a good one for you for today. Returning for their fourth day with a total of 21,715 bucks from Oram, Utah. It's the champs, it's the Parkett family. And from Los Angeles, California, it's the Para family. Everybody's here trying to win themselves a lot of cash. Somehow have a shot to drive out here in a brand new car. Let's go meet the Para family. What's up, Alan? How you doing? I'm doing good, Steve. Alan introduced everybody. This is my handsome brother-in-law, Caesar. My beautiful, intelligent niece, Gabby. My beautiful loose sister, Jen, and my handsome little brother, Maximo, Maximus. Hmm. Welcome to the show. Listen, stay enthusiastic, have a good time, win yourself some money. Let's get it on. Give me Robbie. Give me Alan. Mm -hmm. All right, gentlemen. Top eight answers on the board. Name a complaint a firefighter might have about his hose. Too short. Too short. Mm. Pass the plate. Play. They're going to play. Mm -hmm. Jason, name a complaint to firefighter might have about his hose. Holes, holes. Ryan, name a complaint a firefighter might have about his holes. Caught on something. Caught on something. Greg, one strike. Name a complaint a firefighter might have about his holes. No water. No water. Doug, name a complaint a firefighter might have about his holes. Too rough. Too rough. Ah. Robbie, we got two strikes now. Para family can steal, be careful. Name a complaint a firefighter might have about his holes. Low pressure, low pressure. Jason, two strikes. We gotta be careful. Para family can steal. Broken nozzle. Broken nozzle. Ah. Name a complaint a firefighter might have about his holes. Too long. Too long. Seven, four, let's move on to question two. Give me Jason, give me Caesar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
fellas. Top six answers on the board. We asked 100 women. You wouldn't trade your man for the world, but you, you might trade for what? Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Pass the play, play, they're gonna play. We asked 100 women, you wouldn't trade your man for the world, but you might trade for a what? A car, a car. Jen, we talked to 100 women, you wouldn't trade your man for the world, but you might trade for a what? A mansion. A mansion. Mm. Maximus, we talked to 100 women. You wouldn't trade your man for the world, but you might trade for a what? A yacht. A yacht. Mm. I only one strike. We asked 100 women, you wouldn't trade your man for the world, but you might trade for what? Kids, kids. <clears throat> Caesar, we got two strikes, we gotta be careful. Crockett's family can steal. Plane. A airplane. Uh. We asked 100 women, you wouldn't trade your man for the world, but you might trade for what? A man. A man. Six. Five. Crockett's family got 75. Para family got 68. The goal is 300 points. Don't go away, so we're coming right back. Two great families. Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. Crockett's family got 75, Para family got 68. Give me Ryan, give me Gabby. <laughs> Point values are double. Top six answers on the board. In the winter, you got your what to keep you warm? Pookie. Pookie. Mm. Blanket. Blanket. Pass play, play. You're gonna play. Jen, in the winter you got your what to keep you warm? Clothes, clothes. Maximus Coca Cola, Coca Cola, what Coca Cola, Coca Cola. <laughs> Only one strike now, Alan. In the winter, you got your what to keep you warm? <sighs> Home. Home. <laughs> Caesar, you, we got two strikes. We gotta be careful. Crockett's family can steal. A 
fireplace. A fireplace. A fireplace. Mm -hmm. Gabby, two answers left, but two strikes. Crockett's family can steal. In the winter, you got your what to keep you warm? A heater. A heater. Mm -hmm. In the winter, you got your what to keep you warm? A flask. A flask. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Number six. Five. Power of Power of Family got two forty eight. Crockett's family got seventy five. This is still anybody's game. Don't go away, so we'll come right back right after this. Most captioning is sponsored in parts by. <laughs> Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. Power Family got 248. Crockett's Family got 75. Mm -hmm. Give me Greg, give me Jen. <laughs> Guys, points fires are tripled. Top four answers on the board. A man tell his wife I only went to Hooters for the what? Food. Food. Mm. Pass the play, play, they're gonna play. The, a man tells his wife, I only went to Hooters for the what? Sports on television, sports on television. Probably a man tells his wife, I only went to Hooters for the what? Alcohol. Alcohol. Jason, one answer left. If it's there, your family wins the game. If it's not there, it's still alive. No strikes. Friends, friends for the win. <clears throat> Ryan, a man tells his wife, I only went to Hooters for the what? One strike. Waitresses, waitresses. <clears throat> Greg, listen carefully. If it's there, your family wins the game, but this time you got two strikes. If it's not there, the power family can steal and they will win the game. Fresh air. This is for the win. Fresh air. <clears throat> power family. I got one answer left on the board. If it's there, your family steals. Your family wins the game. If it's not there, the Crockett family wins the game. A man tells his wife I only went to Hooters for the what? Location. This is for the win. Location. <clears throat> Number three. Proud of y'all family. Y'all play very good. Nice meeting y'all family. Hope y'all have a good time. Hey, I need two of you. <laughs> we'll be right back. We're gonna play Fast Money Ride for this, y'all. <laughs> you ready? Yes. 20 seconds on the clock. We asked 100 men, your relationship's doomed if you can't remember your girlfriend's what? Name, if you came into money, name a city where you will to spend it. New York City. On a scale of one to 10, how challenging is your job? Eight, tell us an animal a farmer might name after his mother-in-law. Cow, 
besides horse name of um, another suit in the deck of cards spades mm. we ask 100 men for relationships excuse me we ask 100 men your relationships doomed if you can't remember your girlfriend's what you said Name, survey said. If you came into money, name a city where you love to spend it, you said. New York City, survey said. On a scale of 1 to 10, how challenging is your job, you said. 8, survey said. <laughs> Tell us an animal a farmer might name after his mother-in-law, you said. Cow, survey said. Besides heart. Name another suit in the deck of cards, you said. Spades, survey said. <laughs> Ryan, yes. Doug got 193 points. You need seven points. You ready? Yes. Reminds everybody of Doug's answers. 25 seconds on the clock. We asked 100 men, your relationship's doomed if you can't remember your girlfriend's what? Birthday. If you came into money, name a city where you love to spend it. Las Vegas. On a scale of 1 to 10, how challenging is your job? 8. <clears throat> Try again. 10. Tell us an animal a farmer might name after his mother-in-law. Pig. Besides heart, name another suit in the deck of cards. Spades. <clears throat> Try again. <clears throat> That's okay. <sighs> we need seven points for twenty thousand dollars into forty thousand dollars. I ask, we ask one hundred women. Excuse me. We ask one hundred men. Your relationships. Do me if you can't remember your girlfriend's what you said. Birthday. We need seven points. Survey said. <laughs> Name was the number one answer. Las Vegas was the number one answer. Eight was the number one answer. Cal was the number one answer. Spades was the number one answer. So they got all the number one answers already. They did it. Well, they got a four-day total, forty-one thousand seven hundred and fifteen bucks. And the Crockett family is coming back to play for the chance to drive out of here in a brand new car. We'll see. I'm C. Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks.